Mississippi. You know, you know, we talk about that sea of blue. Well, today we got an ocean. I want to also welcome some of our brothers and sisters in the labor movement, the state employees, SCIU Local 1000 with us today. Yeah. You know, at one time, California was known throughout the world for our great schools, our beautiful parks and beaches, our compassionate people, our safe communities, and a good life that was open to anyone that wanted to move to our wonderful state. Now, it's a shame, after a round of devastating budget cuts, will be known only as the only state in the country that offers tax breaks to rich oil companies and at the same time giving devastating cuts to our grandparents and to our school children. That's the oh! Now I think it's clear that this governor and his ideas that he represents have failed the people of California. Yay! And it's really time for him to just step aside and get out of our way and let us do the job. Yay! We cannot cut our way into prosperity. If we want to restore California, we should be investing in things that are essential to all of us. Yay! Yeah! Schools. Yeah! Safe streets. Yay! Yeah! A healthy population. Yay! Yeah! Efficient roads and mass transit. Yay! Yeah! Fire protection. Yay! Yeah! This is the foundation we need, brothers and sisters. These are the building blocks that are essential to our more prosperous and future for all Californians. This is the way to bring back the beautiful state we all know and love, why we're here. So this coming school year, we're going to be pushing the State Assembly and the State Senate to stand up to the governor, not stand with the governor. Yes. The governor. Yes. Yes. And step up and stand by the working men and women and our school children. I'm also happy to say we won't be alone in our efforts. We have with us today, today some very good friends of us and labor. We're going to have them speak to you here. I'd like to start by introducing a very good friend of CSEA, a very good friend of labor, a very good friend of our with the top story on the local news here in San Jose today. And now you know why this is my 25th straight CSEA annual convention with you. It's great to be with such a great group of hardworking, dedicated, committed, passionate, professional educators. That's why I'll never miss one of these puppies as long as you can invite them. Let me tell you why else I'll never miss. Because I know that you are the backbone of public education. And let me tell you why every place I go, every time I give a speech, I always mention classified personnel because I know who runs the public school system. You heard Rob reference it just a moment ago. These are tough times for the good guys. You know about the $12 million less we'd anticipated from the February budget agreement. You know about another $6 billion that the governor has whacked over the budget that he signed just last week. And you know the net result. It's going to be larger class sizes, longer bus trips, if buses exist at all. It's going to be, and then we're going to wonder why the dropout rate goes up. You know, but but we're, the net result's going to be fewer classes uh, for our electives, for our music, and for the arts. We're going to have fewer, and that's the wrong direction for our state. Oh! It's going to mean that our classrooms will not be as clean. It's going to be our schools will not be maintained as well. It's going to mean fewer of our teachers, fewer administrators, fewer of our classified being returned when school starts in a couple of weeks. And the, the governor has also suspended the work on our textbooks. The next textbooks won't be the brand new ones. They're looking at now 2016. My goodness. Oh! 
stop and think about it, and that means President Obama's name will never appear in a textbook until after his second election as the President of the United States. It means, it means no discussion of global warming, of uh, stem cell research, no discussion of the uh, uh, geographical changes in our state. It means, uh, it means our students will be at even further competitive disadvantage. But let me tell you what's great about our resilient public schools.